Hello everyone, welcome back to another one of John's never ending list of random things to do. And for today's video, I will be working on my 1985 Toyota Celica Supra. We will be focused on modding the fog lights. Now originally, you had to turn on the headlights in order to turn on your fog lights. But after this mod, you should be able to turn on your fog lights whenever you want to. As a note, this mod was inspired from a thread written by Tech26, aka Dave, a member from the Celica Supra Farms. Thank you, Dave. Now with that being said, let's get started. So we're going to start inside the armrest compartment. Lift up the armrest and look inside the compartment. You'll see these two screws and proceed to remove them. I will be starting from the passenger side. Sliding the seat all the way back, I reveal this screw here and this screw right here. Go ahead and remove those two screws. Now moving on to the driver's side. Go ahead and slide the seat all the way back and proceed to remove the two screws on the driver's side. If you own a manual, go ahead and shift it into third gear. This will give you some workspace. Now you can get a hold of your center console and move it out slowly. Here's the connection for your fog light switch. Now we want to disconnect it. Go ahead and press the tab and disconnect them. Now we want to see which one of these two wire is hot when the headlight is turned on. So we're going to find out by using a simple test light. I connected the test light to the green wire, then proceeded to turn on the headlight. And the test light didn't light up, so the green wire is not the one we're looking for. Now it's time to check the red wire. So now with the test light connected to the red wire, I proceeded to turn on the headlight, and the test light lit up. So this is the hot wire, and it is also the wire that we need to remove from this clip. Using a pick, you can shove it in through the front side like so. There's a pin that you need to strike, and the wire should start to move backwards. Once it starts to move, you can grip it from the back side and pull it out. Since we will no longer be using this wire, go ahead and wrap it with some electrical tape. That way it doesn't short. Now we need to look for a hot wire when the key is in the accessories position. With the key in the off position, I tested this red wire and the test light did not light up. Now turning the key to the accessories position to retest the red wire. Since the test light is now lighting up, this is the wire we're looking for. Using a wire stripper, I was able to pull back a little insulation from this red wire. You want to do the same thing to the red wire that's coming from the fog light switch. If you're unsure, just look for the wire that aligns with the one you removed from this clip here. Now you can choose to solder the two wires together. But in this case, for simplicity, I'm just using T-taps. They just pop right onto the wires. And don't forget to close this piece. So you should end up with something like this. Using a short wire and two male ends, I made a short jumper, so I can make this connection. Last of all, don't forget to make this connection right here, otherwise the fog lights will never work. And with that last connection, this mod is now completed. All that is left to do is reinsert the center console and screw everything down. Now let's do one final test. Alright, it's looking good. As long as your key is in the accessories position, you can turn on your fog lights whenever you want. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did and you liked it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, maybe even consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching and I will see you guys for the next random project.